Surely happiness can be found. Surely there's someone for me. Oh, who cares? Yes, who cares for me? Good to see you, Hunter. Pickabean Bay is out, and of course, we have to go and shoot around a little bit. And the hardest part was in the beginning even to find a rifle that we can use on all the new species and I couldn't find any. So I have the 4570 for the big game, the buffaloes and the banteng and I will bring the 30R for the rooster deer and sandbar deer and for, for the fur hawks. This is what it looks like and I will also bring a tent that I want to place in the middle of the map so that we have a place to go to. Let's have a quick look at the map. Pickabean Bay is just northeast of Bush Rangers Run, so the Australia inspired reserves are together here. And Bush Rangers now also suffers from the warm weather effect. Uh, you will also have to bring bottles there, and um, you will also feel dizziness there after running around for a while. The goal for today's hunt is this point of interest. I want to go there and put up a tent. And of course, we will shoot what we find as we go along. As far as the size, Pickabean is just a little bit more than 11 square kilometers, which is a lot smaller than, for example, Timbergold Trails or White Rhyme Ridge, which are over 21 square kilometers. So just a little bit over half of the size of the two uh, reserves that were released just before this one. I'm starting here at the Northern Lodge. Um, by the way, the lodges are also quite different. Very nice artwork here. Very fitting for this reserve. And this lodge is located on a little hill where we can oversee a bit the area. And we want to go down here. Just making sure I have my rifles loaded. And then we will start running around. What I want to find out is, as you have seen, I'm not wearing any camo. Apart from the Boone and Crockett pants, gloves and shoes. So I'm a little bit protected against the deer species, Sambar and Rusa. Not against Banteng, uh, Water Buffalo and Feral Hawks at all. They did a great job with the plants here, so one thing that we will have to figure out will be the tree stands as well. And luckily, we have the first call from a, s from a Rusa deer. And there is a caller for this. <coughs> which sounds exactly like the animal, of course. <laughs> and this is the only animal uh, from the new animals, from the new four new species that have a collar or any type of lure. There is uh, currently no means to lure water buffalo, banteng or sandbar deer. And even though the sandbar and the rusa deer are very similar, uh, you will see they look very similar. Uh, they have some differences in the antlers and in the collars, but otherwise um, very, uh, very similar. The collar still only works for Rusa. And as always, when you start a new species, your skills are at the bottom. I have tracking level one for everything. And that means that the calls are not very accurate displayed on your hunter mate. The emerging circles are roughly wh where the animal is. But uh, it can be quite, quite a bit away from where it actually is. Right now the weather is cloudy. And there is one effect that they have added with this map, which is thunderstorms. And that's really great. You have lightning, you have uh, thunders. And this apparently is taken from the Hunter Primal. So that's good to see there is some, uh, a few things that they could actually reutilize. 
for this map and since I don't know where this ruse is, I'm gonna be really careful just listen around so the map does really remind us a lot of the Hunter Primal and also Rugaru Bayou we have these type of trees that you find a lot in Primal although the difference there is there will be holes in the tree you can get in there and uh, hide from hungry eyes from the dinosaurs they haven't done that here of course this is a lot less fictitious and it's starting to rain now and I can hear the deer on my left here I'm using the highlighted scope here and we have a female first rusa deer one thing that they really manage now is the fur you can see that wonderful fur oh there goes the thunder that is the god of the rusa telling me I shouldn't have shot this first um, sambar deer oh <laughs> so that's how similar they are I will have to check actually uh, quickly here if that was sambar or rusa uh, I haven't paid attention I just called and whatever came in I shot but the achievement says sambar I'll check quickly so the fur is really great these days but also the eyes for me the eyes make a big a big difference look at this look at this this is so pretty all right and in the meantime i've gone back to the hunt history check-in and it is a rusa deer so there's an issue with the uh, achievement here but anyway i'm not going to make a taxidermy of this of course we want to find some bucks what's interesting is these core giving characteristics which is the horns and antlers and of course for the ferals the tusks but don't we know the ferals already quite well the next uh, thing here really interesting is all the uh, the rivers or at least the main rivers along the valley um, you might have seen this in the pre-release stream we had some issues crossing it's not always easy and if we look at the hunter mate I think this tells us we can cross it it's a bit brighter there on the map and yes we can this is really crucial that we can really cross these rivers every now and then that we don't get stuck uh, so this works nicely every now and then I will check how far I'm away from my goal so it's not too far like said the the, the map is not huge So why don't we walk a little, make sure we hear if there's anything around. There's so much love to the detail, not only the plants, they added some uh, butterflies, some ambient birds. And one of these palm trees is called Pickabean, which gave the name to the reserve. We also have collectibles, at least we have shed antlers from the Rusa and Sambar. Quite honestly, I haven't figured out yet if there's mushroom. And last but not least, we have running water. So we will see this. Um, I don't see them on the map right now, but there's some flows running into the river. Uh, something that they have tried doing for quite a long time they did an attempt 
quite quite a few years ago um, to do running water. They didn't like it in the end. It was not up to their standards. Uh, but now somehow they managed to do it. I don't know what they did differently this time. Because it's still based on the same engine that um, we've been using for 10 years. Something they did different this time. Either there's something really new technology-wise that they could apply, or some developers just had a, uh, a very bright thought. And as we walk here, maybe I can share a bit more info what I've seen so far. Um, also, um, in, in on the battle system, there's, for example, rare species, rare fur types for all the four species. They all have albinos and melanistics. And I've seen Lukistic Bantang as well. So I've been trying to collect this information and put that in the wiki. They don't want to tell you these days really what's, uh, what's available. So sometimes you have to dig a little bit. Maybe there's more, I don't know. Maybe there's something else as well. Maybe a pink buffalo, we, we never know. Now we haven't had a call in a while, which means there's not likely an animal close. So I will just start running until there is a call. Rusa deer. Did that sound a bit more it li more like a bass volume, more like a lower tone? Meaning, could that be a male? Let's go figure it out. And then the next time I run, you might want to listen to the breathing. That is a bit different. That sounds more like you're actually really more suffering now. Of course, a reserve like this, a place like this is very humid, very hot. Not anything you want to do sports in. The rooster deer is likely 200 meters away initially. These trees, by the way, these uh, roots can be used to get elevation. You can get up a little bit like this, and then you can lay down. And as you can see, that'll give you oftentimes just enough elevation to see over these flat plants here. Oh, I just love this green. This is so beautiful. Green is really a comforting, soothing color. That's a new one. One thing we'll have to figure out over time is what's the herd behavior of these deer species? Do they travel solitary? Do they travel in groups? We have all kinds of variations with the existing deer, with the old deer, I should say, um, up to this reserve. All the many deer species, sometimes in, uh, they travel in groups, mixed groups, single groups, or um, gender-specific groups. Many times they are singles. And here I really don't know. And we have a buck coming up. And it's a male rusa. Just making sure I'm picking the right weapon. Oh, and it ran. Oh, there's another one. That might be the reason I was seen. Let's just walk up there and measure the distance. I'm at 8.53.
And here is the track. At 8.93, so 40 meters away, yeah, that's that's about right. When they see you, I was standing upright, not really protected. So there were two roosts at here. That's a part of an answer already. They don't come as singles. We have to be a bit more careful. Now, of course, what we can try here is uh, follow the, the spooked buck because that's it, that is what, it, what we really want to, to get. Always interesting to learn how you can really follow these animals. Some are easy to track down after they spooked. Some are harder. Water buffalo. Oh, very close. That sounded further away. But again, the circles are not accurate in the beginning. Even though this is tropical forest, you can still see through these trees quite well. So glassing around works here just as much as in the other reserves. But now I don't have the fleeing track from the from the buck. Oh, maybe up here. And also we're going towards the water buffalo. Oh, I need to check something. I do not have first aid kits. And that is not a good idea. Always funny when animals run exactly back to where they came from. So you have... Uh, a lot of tracks in the way that go the wrong way. At low tracking levels, uh, you cannot see the, um, the next track very far. The distance increases as you level up. And so tracking here is a bit difficult in the beginning. So I'll try my luck here quickly. Glassing. Maybe they call again. And otherwise I will just move on. Although this one had nice antlers, I have to say. Rusa deer have smaller antlers than the sandbar. Low scoring animals will not run very far. And uh, you could probably stay there and just keep calling and eventually they come back. But a good scoring box will run. I, s I just sneaked by a, a buffalo, it seems. The one that's been calling before. So this is really the incoming track from the Rusa. All right. If you put up equipment like this, there is a spooking range of 100 meters. A 
brought a lot of ammo, so let's just quickly get the um, first aid kit. And now we can have a look at the buffalo. It's that one species that will attack you in this reserve. Actually, no, the feral hawks as well. But from the new species, only the buffalo will, will come after you. The band tank doesn't. It's just big fact cows <laughs> that will run. And the water buffalo, according to EW, is now the largest, the heaviest animal. Bison go up to 930 kilograms, I believe. So maybe this one hit, these will hit a ton. Over 1,000, we'll have to check. And they also travel in groups that I have seen. If you see a bison, always be aware. There could be multiples. I've seen group of, of five or six. But whatever we see on beta is never final. Funny, I have the breathing now also by just walking that you wouldn't usually have. Still breathing. What's the matter? Let's just aim. take it down to stop it but it doesn't oh well there you go down by the riverside are the buffaloes And for these guys, you wouldn't really want to bring your large rifles. I did try some bow shooting. Certainly, I'll, I'll have to try some more. I mean, it must be possible. Maybe with the uh, heavy recurve, maybe with the uh, crossbow, something will have to work. But uh, if, I, if I have something like a Parker Python, that's really too weak for these huge animals. So let's see what we're getting. Maybe we will get run over, which is fine too. They have uh, really nice attack animations. Uh, but this breathing, either there's something wrong or if they really intend to have this, that's gonna be a bit difficult over time. Water buffalo ahead. That might be a female given the size of the horns and also the size of the animal itself. Nice colors with the brown belly and the, the pitch dark fur otherwise. Not really fur, I think cows just have a skin. <laughs> and they swim, by the way. Water well, buffalo can swim. And I think that's really the only animal which can do this in the hunter, apart from the hunting dog.
I would like to see a large bull. Oh, this asks for some long range shots. Quite a hill here. For those who don't know what I mean, uh, long range shooting really only matters in this game because there is a render, a render range of 220 meters and you can only extend that distance by gaining some elevation between some height difference between you and the animal. And the trotting is quite fast. So crouching after them will not work when they trot. Oh, I know the breathing is probably because of my clothes. So far I've been using the new green clothes which have uh, a high warm weather resistance. Oh, is this how far this is already? Wow. So any clothes like this will just make you breathe all the time. And breathe very heavily <laughs> uh, when you run like this. And of course I'm wearing my red boonie. I'm sure that doesn't help either. Wow, is this the horns? This is a huge guy. So, 4570, do your magic. With the second shot, we have it. This is a little trick. If you shoot at animals after the first shot, don't move your gun. Keep aiming straight ahead. Oftentimes the animal will run left and right, but it will run back into the scope. And hopefully EW doesn't listen right now, because this is really convenient. Just keep aiming straight ahead and wait for the animal to come back. Wow, look at these horns. Whoa. All right, what I'm quickly going to do is check the leaderboard. Uh, so we have a little bit of a reference here how big this is. All right, 235 is on the leaderboard. And this one looks big, although the horns, the circumference is not that huge. So let's, let's harvest it and then have a look. Yeah, there you go, 1100 kilograms. 1100, over 1100, that is certainly the largest animal by far. And the score is 209. That is pretty nice. And now I don't know, should I do taxidermy on this one? What if, if it's really good and I don't? Um, well, at least the achievement is correct here. First water buffalo. And again, I can really only congratulate EW for a fantastic work on the graphics. The cow skin. <laughs> I mean, even just the horns, the textures. Um, and I want to have a look at the eyes, which is so important. Let's see, where's the sun? Oh, straight. So we should be able to see, really. There you go. Wow. Wow, you, you feel like you're looking at a living animal or creature. That is our first buffalo, 209. That is a nice core. No trophy shot, no taxidermy for now, because I'm sure I will shoot a lot of these guys. But we have the first male animal, the buffalo. Now let's just head back towards the um, 
the river. And we spooked one likely here. Oh yeah, of course the uh, the cow. The female that was that we saw before. This one down there maybe. Oh that went straight down. This one went straight down. We have the dizziness already. Oh, look at the tree in the upper left. Whoa, am I being attacked here? Are you crazy? Coming from behind. So we're getting dizzy. Oh, this is blue eyes, or bluish, beautiful. Shall we guess whether this is male or female? Well, it should have an other, actually. This is a female, if I see that right. And that is even 630 kilograms, almost. And then the score should be maybe 100 and something. In the low hundreds. 127. So I wouldn't usually do this, guys, but I'm going to actually to change clothes. This is getting a bit annoying and I wonder if this is going to work. Look at the look at the uh, blurring effect here. And the breathing really gets on my nerves over time. This one is going to be 120. 136. All right, so I never I have never done this before in the middle of the hunt. I'm going to do a purchase. And I know some of you have said um, I'm trying to sell the equipment. <laughs> you may think what you want to think, but this is really getting on my nerves, the breathing. And uh, we've been hunting for roughly more, a bit more than half an hour. And I'm really dizzy already. So let me just quickly get some clothes, new clothes, and then we'll change them. You have received items from the store. Now I will have to ask you to look the other way, please, because I'm going to change clothes. Do -do 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 -do. All the green stuff comes out. Do -do 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 -do. And the boonie will have to stay. Sorry, we'll, but that much uh, has to be possible. We're still dizzy, we're still breathing. So out comes the bottle. And we take the first sip. The blur is gone. The breathing is gone. And the tent is gone. <laughs> so let's see if that makes a difference. I know they tweak a lot in the last days before release. Let's just walk and let's just see what happens. But I really don't want to hear any breathing anymore. And that really seems to be the case. There you go. So the warm weather clothes have not only an effect on how quickly you will lose a proper sight and how you will get um, overheated. It also has an effect on how you breathe. This is what we're used to. We can walk the reserves. We don't hear ourselves breathe until we run uh, so we've just learned something new and again i'm not trying to sell you anything you may wear what you want to wear you can even wear the white rim rich uh, warm clothes but that would just be a lot worse altogether okay so my apologies to ew it's not a bug it's actually a feature it works as intended. Just wear the right clothes, didn't they tell us? And then everything is fine. I didn't really realize how much different that is. 
I didn't realize the breathing, but that really gets on my nerves quickly. So with the new clothes, we are running fresh. Uh, a bit disappointed that that Rusa got away. Really wanted to look at it a little bit. And then it's booked. I think we can really tell there is more of the bovine species and less of the deer species. Sambar deer with a circle. You get the circle even if you have a low tracking level or tracking skill. You get that all the time if the animal was near or is near. And I think I can say pretty safely this Sambar deer has booked. It came my way. There you go, more buffaloes in the water. Over there, look at this. Oh, that's another huge one. So it has to be a male. Shall we try a shot from here? Although it would have to give me the sight. There is the lady. The 4570 is a cannon, that's for sure. But this is a long distance. This is a long distance call. We'll try it, then we'll know. Maybe the chest from the from the front. Yes. I think the cow is stuck. Poor cow. Oh, may I maybe shoot a little bit better at a stuck animal? What the heck? Why the rushing? We'll do one more. And that should be the lethal blow. Now with the scope we can mark the place. She's still going. So, where do we cross the river? Well, where they crossed it, it seems. At least from looking at the map here. Yes, we can cross it there. Are you kidding me? Look at the belly, all the bullets in the belly. And she's still going. Of course, there's all the breathing when uh, running, but this is less, sounds like less suffering than before. Is she still there? Yes, but no longer alive. Oh, I love the sounds. This is one pretty place. Two more buffaloes. This one went down straight. Shot from the front. Look at this. The other was 209. I think this one is smaller. 189. Uh, 198. And um, also over 1100 kilograms. The shot one went right through the heart at 173 meters. And we'll pick up the cow as well. Through 
three hits out of five or six shots, I don't know. So now we're at the wrong, oh, fleeing Banteng. Fleeing Banteng. And the fleeing direction will be this one, right? That's him or her. I can hear something. So hopefully the cow's right up here. The lower the score of an animal, the less far it will run, the sooner it, will, be, uh, it uh, will recover and call again. There goes another buffalo. So you can tell hunting buffalo if you own a decent caliber. Well, re you really have to have a huge rifle, then that won't be hard. There's plenty of them around. Mm. Who says move? Rusa dear, Rusa dear. Now we have two options, either call in the Rusa or continue with the band tank. Of course, I'll pick the deer. I am I believe to remember that they said there's less deer. They're certainly more skittish. So we'll go for the Rusa, although Please, can you do this better this time? I don't want to stand here and just call it in. Look like the tail wiggles. This is cool. So I'm looking for uh, some sort of tree. We don't have a big one with the uh, with the roots. Well, this will do. Don't know where it c what's coming from exactly anyway. Oh, let's check the camo thingy here. Now I'm fully protected. And the boonie will uh, not distract it any, um, either. It'll just say must be some sort of Christmas thing. So we are fully protected here. 
Now the head doesn't make a big of a difference. Every piece of clothes have has a certain factor. And of course the jacket and the pants count a bit more than 20%. And all five pieces together make 100% of whatever protection you have. Although they have uh, the face pieces as well, the scarves. So maybe it's um, now less than 20% in average for each piece. We have a Rusa already. We have the female. We messed up on the male. I hear something here on the left. Why not lay flat? Could be multiples again. There's a tail wiggling or an ear. <laughs> what is that? Let's see here. All right, incoming animal from the right. Female. Ugh. Did you bring your brother? She's smelling me and she will run. I really want a buck. What was that? Sambar deer. Although really where she just ran. We don't have a sambar yet. One thing they've added is um, if you shoot at these two deer species, they jump like you would expect from a real animal. They don't just uh, say, oh, I'm just going to turn and run like crazy. They actually really show an effect of the impact of the bullet and then jump and run. Really nicely done. Maybe we'll see that for the other, for the older deer as well at some point. And now I'm, uh, I'm flying blind here. I have a call from somewhere here, but I have no track and I have no exact location. So let's just move slowly in. There's something moving. Another buffalo. Is that our lady here? No, it's a male. Trotting. Did you see the sandbar deer by any chance? Oh, we can do a deal. You tell me where the sandbar is and I won't shoot you. You can hear the stomping. Oh, maybe we should just get attacked here quickly. Can you do me a favor here? Yes. Come on! <laughs> he stopped in front of me, but I, I think that was the impact. And I flew seven meters or something. <laughs> 
So I went through the air pretty nicely. That was the buffalo attack. Oh, there it is. There it is. There's something. Come on. There's more. It's females. Sambar deer female. Oh, she just laid down. Take a note here quickly. Sleeping time of sambar deer between 11 and 12. And there's a banting. It's a female given the small horns. So there's the sambar. But what's the point here of shooting this? Oh, she lays down as well. <laughs> so let's be careful here. Maybe we, we will trip over a... Uh, Over a buck. There's another band thing. Yeah, he plays for the FC Manchester United. You can tell from the socks. And she saw me. But still no sandbar buck. That's interesting that she saw me. Being a female, meaning lower score, I am protected here. Of course I stand there, but I wasn't really moving much. But oh well, if there's kiddish, there's kiddish. And now we cannot tell if these are males or females. We could do a wild guess. Look at the size of these tracks here. Are they bigger or smaller than these? Nah, we can't tell. Because the bucks will have larger footprints. We can't tell quite yet, but over time, sometimes you will know. So we're slowly heading back to the river crossing to the place we wanted to get to. And down in the water is more buffaloes. I couldn't get a sight of that sandbar buck. But again, I've been spooking the animals, so I shouldn't wonder why there is nothing around afterwards. But that's what you do when you explore new places. Just go a bit to the limits, figure out how close you can get before they see you. And I haven't really been very careful lurking around here. More buffaloes. So now we've seen them all, but we haven't shot Sambar or Banteng yet. And 
and as we get closer to the river, the vegetation changes a bit. It's more green on the ground. Turtle hog. <laughs> There is no five reserves with feral hawks. That's as many as there's whitetail reserves. So many buffaloes. So the area opens up a bit more here even. And as we get to the river, we should get a good sight, a good view. I'm walking towards a peninsula here. Sambar deer, oh, going the wrong way. And if I look at the map, if I reach this peninsula, I should be able to keep going. I don't really want to shoot all these buffalo here. This one I will have to. That's the same for the bison as well. Just go for the brain when they look at you and start charging. Brain shot will always kill them on the spot. But I was just gonna say I didn't want to shoot here because of the noise. So there's a sandbar as well. So they're not too rare. We should be getting one sooner or later. It's on the top of my wish list now. And of course, we also need uh, Manchester United. So we'll have to do some hunting, bang ting. I am going to hunt and bunting. Oh, this isn't India. Hold on. Sambar deer going straight. Why don't we follow that track? Alright, so here we certainly have to have a look around. Maybe something calls. Where's the next track here? Yeah, leveling up these skills is just key. So much open area. And 
and no creature. And back there we can see the bridge from the railway. So there's some old railway. Ooh, I cannot get through this. So that means the sandbar also had to look for an alternative here. crossing story here again one hint was to look for vegetation the water is more shallow if there's vegetation to show so we should be able to really cross here because if we can't if we can't ooh, this is looking good there is a bridge here I would have to go a long way. Oh good, excellent. So the color on the hunter mate here is a bit misleading. You would think you can cross everywhere, but you still have to find your way around here. So I've been walking because I really want to get another call. tracks over here I think I've seen a decent number of tracks really so far and I found all five animals already at least the tracks thereof and Banteng is ahead think they're large and slow they will not register you quickly and especially if you think about the bison you can run up to them they will never run or very very few times they will run away from you most times they will stand their ground and then go after you but the band tank are different in that regards Will you give me another call? They also come in groups. That of course increases the chance that you will hear one of them. If you see the white socks Scream! And come to think of it, this cannot be Manchester United actually. They don't have white socks. Could be the Swiss national team. But they cannot run this uh, fast. <laughs> nah, nah, they're doing fine. So, Ban Teng. Where are your chocolate guru? 
Soccer balls. We're almost there at our point of interest. which is a rusty train. I'm looking forward to driving this. But first, Banteng, there you go. Make sure to get the right rifle out. And this one down nicely as well. Dead Banteng coming up. We cannot know if it's a male or female. I was too quick. Um, well, very small horns. Gotta be a female. Oh, one's coming. One comes running. Right there. Oh, it's stuck. If I'm fast enough. Then we can have a look at this, just as much as we could have, have looked at the other. All right, there you go. All day female. So now this time we'll take our time. Oh, just drag it out in the sun here quickly. The Banteng is down. So let's have a look at this here. A rusty locomotive. More Banteng on the other side. Yeah, we'll check them out in a minute here. So where do I get in? How do I drive this thing? Okay, well, we came here to place a tent. We have, uh, you have arrived. Thanks for flying with us today. And now since the tent is down, well, actually, I'll uh, put in another one uh, maybe I'll find another place so this has been Buffalo, Rusa and Banteng and I'll do a last run after the elusive Sambar Buck well it's good to have this bridge so that is certainly a point where you can cross the river There's a band tank running. Ooh, quite far out. All right, let's have let's just have a quick look here. Running up on that bridge. Ah, uh, you could cross. <laughs> you could cross here as well. They do that for the animals. The animals cannot walk on this bridge. They wouldn't do that in real life anyway. 
Ooh, what's over there? A plant, as it seems. So this is a good place to have a look around. This is really pretty. Really pretty reserve. All right. Off we go, let's find the sandbar. So this is quite steep here for the train. I, want, I would like to see that rusty locomotive get up here, especially with the broken rails here. This looks familiar, doesn't it? Seems some mining tunnel. But unlike in Timbergold trails, we cannot fast travel here. The only thing that happens is a band tank will call if you stand in front of it. You may have noticed I've been walking for a while again in the green clothes and I'm breathing here as well. So when the when this effect comes in you can see in the corners how everything's blurring how everything is starting to look worse so the breathing doesn't go away anymore so these clothes will uh, be a lot better as far as how quickly the effect comes in but once it's there the breathing will be there. So let's take a quick sip here from the bottle. And the distorted view is gone, the breathing is gone. We are good again. So I've come back here to the north where we've seen Sambar before. And there is a buck here in front of us. He's looking over here. So we better get hiding. You see the track here in front. I've been following it. And there goes the sandbar. Like said, I've seen the tracks here. So I thought it was safest not to go experiment but just come back here and lo and behold i saw the fleeing tracks and i've been following this here's the sandbar buck not a huge one and so there's certainly confusion with the achievements uh, between rusa and sandbar but they will fix this Sambar Buck. Not worthy of a place in the trophy lodge. This was the first hunt here in Pickabin Bay. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much. Stay in touch.